Every four years, a small number of people, less than one half of one percent, write in a candidate's name for president. This election cycle, some experts think that percentage could grow. So Barbara from Elk River wants to know, are write-in votes counted? Good question. Heather Brown found out that it really <laughs> depends on what state you're in, right? It sure does. In some states, the answer is a flat-out no when it comes to U.S. president. But in others, anyone you write in for president will be counted. And in Minnesota, it's somewhere in between. Have you ever written in a candidate? Yes. You have? Yeah, Ooh. actually. I feel like that might be a waste of a vote. I'm seriously considering it this year. David Letterman one time. Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and anyone but so-and-so usually top the list. Also, flying spaghetti monster. Do you count the write-in votes? So the answer is yes, but it depends. Ginny Gelms is the Hennepin County Elections Manager. So if somebody writes in Mickey Mouse for president, that doesn't get counted. That's right. Mickey Mouse does not get counted for president. However, Mickey Mouse would get counted for city council. By state law, write-in candidates for local or city elections must be tallied. But for county, state, or federal elections, they're only counted if a candidate is registered as a write-in. Who would you write in? Well, I would write back Bernie. We don't like Hillary. We don't like Trump. He's not registered, but 18 others are, including a guy who calls himself Joe the Painter. How do you count the write-in votes? This is really interesting. So in Hennepin County, our ballot um, counters are, they take digital images of the ballots and they are actually smart enough to see whether somebody has written anything in that write-in space. They take all the digital ballots with write-in votes and send them back to the city election judges to count. You might not know the results of a write-in candidates for a couple of days. We would definitely not know on election night. Now, did you feel like with Letterman you are wasting your vote or you felt no, like... No, I'm just canceling out what the other two are doing. At this point, I would go ahead and vote instead of taking chances. So Letterman's gone. Maybe Stephen Colbert yeah. this time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now we do have a write-in candidate serving now in Minnesota. The treasurer of Minnetonka Beach, he was not on the ballot two years ago. He was written in and he received the most votes because he became treasurer. Now it turns out that he was the former treasurer. He decided not to run again. But people oh. wrote him in, so he won. So he said, okay, you All know right. what, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll take the job for a, another term. It must have done good work. Yes, yeah. we'll have to see what happens <laughs> next time. Well, yeah. I, you know, I had no idea. I thought they were just counted. I didn't know that they weren't. So no, that was, it no. depends on where you live. Absolutely. Only counted for the president if that person is registered. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you can't write yourself in, yeah. for example. That won't get that won't counted. Work. Or Chris Schaefer in. Chris Schaefer, so I was thinking. Count. Yeah, Come right. On. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Heather. All right. Good to see you, Heather. Learning stuff on a Monday. If you have a good question, email it by going to wcco.com slash links.